Let's go watch it in 2D No, let's go watch it in 3D But if we watch it in 3D Then is it worth the cost? Hello, this is Adolf And 3D and 2D is back! We're back, baby! So, um... Decided this was not going to be the end of the website. Uh, we are coming back and coming back right in time for Christmas time. So I just thought that'd be a nice Christmas treat to everybody. That uh, website's coming back now. I, I do want to feel like I want to explain myself a little bit further. I feel like that's uh, people that it's a fair question. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Why? Um, so I did attend to try to sell the website, but I didn't find any buyers that I thought were serious. And the people that were serious were not willing to do any kind of funds that I thought were appropriate. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> so I didn't think it would be a good thing to, I, in my heart, I couldn't kill the website. I've worked too hard on this for too long and I couldn't just delete it. I couldn't, you know, keep it paying for it and not doing anything with it. And of course, the itch to review movies and talk about content doesn't get scratched. And that itch piles up. I absolutely needed a break. And, you know, it wasn't the intent, but it's what happened is that I got a big break. And this year has been a year that kicks my ass, um, just to be straight up with y'all. You know, I was unemployed for about seven months. I did not expect that. Um, and we, I have a new job, but it's not the job, not pay wise as much as I would like. And I did appreciate being able to go see movies without having to review them or do any content and take that break. I was able to go back to some passions that I love, which is video games and um, I was able to go back to playing some games that I love, um, new games, um, Tears of the Kingdom, Zelda. I, I devoured that game. Pikmin 4, love that game. Super Mario Wonder, love that game. Games that I would not have time for because I'm doing the website or doing podcasts or whatever. And I, I kept thinking, if I bring it back, how do I want to bring it back? What do what should I change? What is a key thing that it makes it worthwhile? Well, first of all, I'm going to try to merchandise and have things people could buy. Um, I was never, I'm not really a, trying to be a capitalist pig, a billionaire. Uh, what I want is to, I would love to be able to have this content provide for my living, pay my bills, make, give me food on the table. Right now, for the longest time, the website was a negative it, it, it cost money that I didn't necessarily need to spend. And it just ate away my credit card. And I got patrons. They helped, but it wasn't really worth the cost of the long term. So ultimately, it wasn't worth it. So now I do want to try again and have this be worth it for me. And I want to try to sell things. I'm going to try to have more content sectioned off onto Patreon to encourage people to be patrons. Um, Patreon is going to have a $1 tier and a $10 tier. So that way you have options. If you can't afford a lot, you can get, you can get some stuff on the $1. If you want to really be wonderful, $10 is there and you get more. So... Um, the website is going to also change too. It's going to not just be about 3D content. Where I feel like I had a good idea and I have a good idea. I also feel like the website was limited by only being focused on 3D. And I never wanted it to become like MTV or like other um, websites like comicbook.com, which... I saw the article they had a couple of months ago about a Big Mac. And it's like, really? What does the comic, what does the Big Mac have to do with comic books? 
Just like, what does reality TV have to do with music television? I don't want that. And I thought it would be better to end the website than to do that. Now, I feel like since COVID, we've kind of expanded on things a little further. And if you're a patron, you already knew that um, because we did reviews for patron for Patreon uh, on Patreon for patrons that were not 3D movies. So I want to expand that further on the website. 3D is going to be still the Earth that we rotate. That is still our moon. We we still want to be in the solar system of entertainment content. I want to cover 2D movies, TV shows as well. That might work. So an example would be, you know, Wonka just came out. Would that be a good 3D movie? I'm not going to really talk about Big Macs versus Burger King or whatever crap like that. You know, it's not really about that. I mean, on the Patreon stuff, we may have more off-topic things. So I'm keeping 3D at the center of this, but I'm also acknowledging that there's not enough 3D content to make a website that's worthy of my time. Time is precious. Time is the only thing that you can't get back. The time you spend on something is time that you can't spend on something else. It is a limited quantity. And in your life is what you're doing with your time giving you joy and happiness and making you feel fulfilled? Or is it causing you stress and anxiety? And for the longest time, the website was causing me stress and anxiety. There was some fun to be had. We did laugh and have fun you know, ripping apart bad movies and gushing over great movies. But... The frustration of only focusing on 3D really kind of made things difficult because I don't know if what movies are going to be 3D and what movies we can review. And it's so if I instead of having it to be my only focus to be within the, you know, orbits of my focus, which other things may come around that might seem interesting, I think we could get more usage out of the website and continue on this experiment and hopefully become successful. My intent is not to become a billionaire. I don't want to be a billionaire. I think that's too much money for one individual to have. I don't know if I even want to become a millionaire. (laughs) I just want to live a comfortable life where I could get money for the art that I make. I know that's crazy. I know that's radical, but you know, (sighs) It's, I don't want to put out art into the world and no one appreciate it until I die. I'm dead. I'm not going to be able to know if people appreciate my work. Um, I, I definitely see that you guys appreciated my work and I feel like a lot of y'all missed us. So that's why, just like 3D, 3D has a, has a, a capacity to come back around. You know, it was, it was big in the 80s, and it died. It came back in the 2000s. It came back in the 50s. And we back to, you know, 3D has a, comes back and goes. And, you know, and uh, my Futurama shirt comes and goes. Comes and gets canceled, and it comes back, and gets canceled, and comes back. So just like that, 3D or 2D, we're back. We're back. And we're going to be covering 3D content, movie content, some TV content, stuff that at least we will try to make an excuse to why it should be on the website. So what other changes are going to be? We're going to have our hair more loose, which, what does that mean? You know, we're going to cuss and it's fine. It's not a big deal. Um, Trying to always be PG or PG-13 was really difficult to do sometimes. And it, became really stressful to go search for swears in a podcast or to write down what time things were and edit that later and we just do what we want. So I'm sorry to those fans who think um, you shouldn't cuss, but that's going to be some of the things we do. Uh, I'm not going to be trying to cuss up a storm and, you know, say F and S and whatever, every other word, but I want to be able to have those shackles of language to be removed from me. So that's one. 
change. Cursing, A-OK. Two, um, like I said before, we're going to cover more content for uh, films and movies and TV shows that's not 3D. Now, when it comes to that, how do we do that? Like Wonka, do I review it just as is? Well, we could review the potential for 3D. Potential. So, you know, if you're watching a movie, you will see, okay, that movie had potential. That could have looked great in 3D if they did it for 3D. But obviously they didn't. You know, sometimes if you watch a a 3D movie that is released later on 2D, you're like, oh, that would have been a cool scene. That would have been a cool scene. But sometimes you watch a 2D movie and you're like, you know, that would have been an awesome scene. And maybe this was not filmed in 3D or thought about it for 3D, but this would have been cool. So we're going to have potential. Would this film potentially look good in 3D as is? Obviously, you know, if you know it's a 3D version going to come out, you should, in theory, record for it. You should, in theory, um, plan for it and have, okay, let's uh, have this camera angle or this lighting, you know, to be better or whatever, or this thing happening should be this way. Um, but as is, is this movie have potential or TV show or content or whatever? So potential is going to be something that will be on 2D only reviews. And re- the reviews are going to be different. Um, we're no longer going to have the scores of weak, good, and great. We're just going to have number score. 1 to 10. Simple. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Um, and we could still have our awards. So if it's something special, we could give it a 10 and an award. Um, you know, the awards are just something to, to say, this is special. This is something I really want you to recognize. This is something really... Uh, above and beyond. And the, the movie scores are going to be 1 to 10. Now, we're not going to have written reviews on the website no more. I know, it's crazy. Um, that's going to be a Patreon thing. So, we're going to give you the scores. You're going to know if that movie is worth it. But the written reviews will be on Patreon. And um, we're not going to stress too much about having those written reviews up as soon as possible. We are going to have them up, you know, we're going to try to a week or so afterwards. Um, even if it's just like a little bit of something, but that way patrons have much more reason to, to be patrons. They get more out of it and have re- more reason for you to be a patron. So you'll get your review scores. You'll know, okay. Um, Aquaman two, worth it or not worth it. And that's it. Most people don't care. I mean, honestly, most people don't read the reviews. <laughs> I see website data. People click on the review, look at the scores, jump out. That's what they need. They don't care about anything else. Some people read. Some people do. Definitely read. But um, I would say vast majority don't care. So why are we catering to them? People that do want to care are going to be our patrons. Our patrons have said, oh, I love how you wrote this. Oh, my patrons have been really sweet and telling me, I love the style you have, or or whatever. So, patrons get that benefit. Um, So, I guess those are the main changes right now. Um, Just trying to simplify things. Talk about more content that is uh, in Hollywood and related to film and movies and TV shows and such, and even video games and just stuff that might be interesting to someone that is a fan. Um, Obviously, you know, this could be a big change and I know it's going to alienate some people, but I want to be able to have more... I want to make sure this website is successful and then having this broaden out focus, you know, we're definitely going to cover every 30 movie that we can. And definitely review everything that we can. Now, there's going to be times of months where there's no 3D movies. And that's not our fault. And we don't need to feel bad about it. If that happens, we'll cover the 2D movies that come out. You know, the industry news is really important and interesting. And uh, that's going to be something worth covering. So, now, uh, speaking about the news, I do want to say that I have a new venture. A new website. Um... It's not quite ready yet to be launched, but it is going to be What If News. So, whatif.news. Um, and that's going to be a website that I'll be working on as well. And that will have articles, news articles, 
that kind of give you something interesting to think about, something to chew over mentally. It might be fun. It might be interesting. It might be scary. It might be shocking. It's just news of what if. What if this happened? What if that happened? Um, you know, kind of, to call it fake news would be kind of uh, gross. And to call it, you know, a, kind of a homage to the Onion, to Weekly Worldly News, potential news. Not really predictions, per se. It's, it's stuff that kind of could happen. I'm going to try to keep it, you know, sometimes it'll be interesting. And um, sometimes it'll be really, really close to home. And sometimes it'll be sad. And um, I have a lot of articles written already. Um, so that's going to be interesting how that's going to be. Uh, for now, that website is still, um, I bought the domain name, so that domain name is mine, but I haven't put it up yet, but I do want to put it up very soon. So I'll keep you all posted on what if news, but, um, that should be something that I am very excited for. Um, and 2024, we're going to be covering the movies and we're going to be, um, trying to cover stuff as we go. I think everyone that was on here before is interested in coming back. Uh, I'll confirm with them, but we might have some new people come by. So it's just trying to see what works best and, you know, have a little bit looser, a um, little more content in some ways, a little less content in other ways. Um, I hope you like these changes. I hope these are not too difficult and I hope you're happy that we're back because it's been something I've been thinking about for a long time. And um, I know you're probably wondering what opinions are, my opinions are on different movies that came out. And we'll definitely have a 2023 Time Capsule podcast where we talk about all the movies. Because I know people are probably curious what our thoughts are. Um, this year, I really try to focus on myself. Because, you know, being unemployed for months, it really kind of destroys you um, mentally. And I was able to get therapy, and I'm, I'm doing much better now. And it's it's tough. It's tough to give up something you love. The we- you know, I love the website. I'm coming back to it because I love it still. But um, just change your life. And sometimes it's something you have to do. Take a break and come back, and change things up. And and hopefully this is successful. I want to be successful on this website because I want to be able to pay my staff. I want to be able to pay myself. <laughs> I want this not to be a um, negative charge. I want this to be a positive charge to make me money. Not because I want to be a billionaire. Not because I want to rule the earth. Because I want to make money off the content that I create. Because I love creating this content for you. So I want to be able to have you know a nice, nice lifestyle creating content for you. And to be able to provide that for the employees and staff of the website. So... Please expect, um, you know, some, you know, things to change. And um, I definitely want to have merchandise and and sell product and and really encourage people to go on Patreon. So that way we get more money um, because I want to make enough money to pay my bills. I hate nine to five. I hate the eight to five, eight, nine to five. I hate working for someone else. I have I, I have a this passion to do this website and I don't want to work for another person, another corporation, making money for them or doing their stuff. I want to do this for me because I enjoy this and I want to make this content that I think is important. And I know it's, it's, I just want to make a good living, Uh, you know, have not to worry about my bills and have to make sure that I have enough money to buy food and, uh, do everything I want to do in my life and providing content is something I want to do in my life. I've always provided content. Um, I've been reviewing games and movies and such for years, even before 3D or 2D.com. So is that something I can get away? That's part of who I am is the person that reviews content and talks about content. So I definitely am excited about this opportunity. Um, I'm hopeful that many people come back I'm hopeful that we bring people new in and that this is a relaunch and this website could be successful. Nothing will bring me more joy and more happiness than to be able to live off the um, money from making this website. A lot of people do. 
make money off of their websites and their podcasts, and I want to be one of them. <laughs> um, you know, the, the occasional Google ads once a year is not enough to cover. I want to be able to be profitable. And, it, I, you know, right now we don't really pay the staff because I can't. Not because I don't want to, not because I'm a jerk, not because I'm greedy, but because when, you know, the website costs $200 a year and we make $100 in ads, well, that's still negative. <laughs> so it's, it's not really going to help me to pay anybody when I'm not making money to begin with. So, and there's no guarantee of those ads making money. So we're back. Um, we're different and hopefully better than ever. And look forward to What If News soon. And um, we're going to have some reviews up ASAP so that way you don't feel too out of date. And we're going to try to get caught up with some reviews here and there. And like I said, no written reviews except for patrons. So thank you for watching and or listening. That's going to be it for this. Welcome back. Happy Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Hanukkah. Happy everything. Winter Solstice. I just, at the end of the year, let's uh, spread some good joy and hopefully have a great new year, 2024, and we'll be there, giving you content, and giving you better, if not hopefully better, you know, content. Um, maybe I'm going to do less editing, so that way I don't have to worry about a podcast taking five hours to edit or something. So, it's a process. It's going to be different. But uh, hopefully it's going to be better, and hopefully you'll like it. All right, that's it for me. Bye. You can find 3D or 2D on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, and more. Just look for 3D or 2D. Links are in the info box. If you want to send us listener mail, our email address is email 3D or 2D at gmail.com. Thank you for either listening or watching this podcast. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone.